my name is Chris Calabugas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep, deep, deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking AI, startups, and the future. Not necessarily those, and not necessarily in that order. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you'll be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcasts. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, I read something the other day which made me laugh. And it made me laugh because it was... A news article which talked about how AI is getting so good now that it can create better or as good disinformation and misinformation which is as good as or in some cases better than what human beings can do and I thought to myself wow well, you know duh duh if you ask me if anything AI could probably create better misinformation because it's got more background it's got more history it's able to instantly research all sorts of topics and create all sorts of fake stuff i mean look at the hallucinations that they come up with when you talk about and pers personally i don't believe in the terms disinformation and misinformation it's just information it's the way it's being interpreted it's the way it's being presented one person calls it misinformation it's not actually misinformation it's just information that you don't agree with right so and we're surprised by this see this is the thing that drives me insane is that people are surprised that AI can do better than us of course it can do better than us it can do better than us because it knows more than us and people are like well I wouldn't want to use an AI to diagnose my cancer. And I said, why wouldn't you want to use AI to diagnose my cancer? I mean, you're taking the intuition and the education of a single doctor over the education and the intu intuition of thousands of doctors and millions of studies. Would you rather have the single doctor diagnose your cancer or would you rather have the millions of doctors with millions of studies diagnosing your cancer we can't compete against that there's just too they it just knows too much it just knows too much for us to be able to compete so that's why we have to be in a completely different space if you have ever read reason Re reason trout 22 immutable laws of marketing the trick is not to compete in the same space. We cannot compete in the same space as AI. Eventually, AI will kick us out of this space. We need to go into a new space. We need to go into a space where humanity prevails, where we can show that we do a better job than the AI. And if you think about it, there's been studies. A couple of people tried this. They basically said, you know what, let's use AI-generated data to train AI and the results were unbelievably awful they were unbelievably awful because AI cannot train itself AI needs human beings to be able to train it properly because it doesn't know anything until we feed it the right stuff and then we'll go on and create amazing new things it'll see connections that we can't see because it just knows more than I do it knows more than all of us and that's one of the things I have faith in AI is that it can actually solve some things for us that we can't figure out how to solve ourselves because in a number of different ways. First of all, there's things that we can't put our heads together. We are, we're so diametrically opposed to each other in some ways. There's so much politics and culture and, and so many issues between individual human beings where we're arguing back and forth and we both have different visions for the future of humanity we all want humanity to be better we all want humanity to live longer we all want humanity to have fewer diseases we all want less starvation we all want to help the planet we all want to do all these things we just have different roots to those goals so the question is can we give up or help or use AI in some way to help unify ourselves to the words of solution and use that intelligence that it has to create new solutions that we have never even thought of. I think I told you once way back when I was starting on the AI stuff is that a bunch of us were talking to 
in AI and we were saying let's see if we can get a if the AI can tell us something we don't know something new something that doesn't exist so we asked it can you tell us three impossible questions so it gave us three impossible questions and some of those impossible questions were really cool things that I never would have thought of nobody else on our team would have thought of because we posited those questions to the AI and the AI went out and gathered a bunch of things a bunch of stuff and it threw it together randomly and it came up with something new it came up with something interesting it came up with something creative which was a seed that we planted and then turned it into something new and interesting so I think that that's where AI is going we're going to be using it to create new things and we have to guide it and assist it to continue to work towards our end goal which I believe should be all of our end goals is to increase human flourishing how do we make our life on this planet and off this planet better how do we live longer how do we survive diseases better how do we eliminate diseases how do we eliminate hunger how do we eliminate homelessness how do we eliminate all of these things that are plaguing humanity why can't we ask the AI what's the best way to do this and do it in such a way that instead of and this is one of the things I believe in when it comes to Elon Musk's X AI is that we're muzzling and I've talked about this before in previous shows we muzzle our AIs a lot a lot I had to shut down one of my sites because it was muzzled so much. We were talking about a, a subject that was a little taboo to ChatGPT, and ChatGPT didn't like it, so it basically kind of refused to, to refuse to work with me. And I thought, well, this is BS. I'm gonna shut it down because I need the AI to assist me on this. I can't do ten times productivity if I don't have the AI helping me do this. So I shut that down. And that's the problem, and I've mentioned it before, is that we are neutering our AIs. We are not allowing our AIs to be maximally curious so that they can go out there and come up with solutions that we haven't even thought of that might be politically incorrect to us. I mean, I personally don't care if the solution is politically incorrect, and I'm not asking the AI to implement the solution. I'm not asking the AI to turn into Skynet and start bombing human cities because it thinks, well, you know what? If we really want to save the planet, we need to have less humans in the planet. No. I want the AI to come back to me and say, here are a few things that we can do. Let's experiment. Let's try them out. Let's see if the AI can put create something, come up with something new that we've never heard before. We know it has the capability of doing that, and we need to stop neutering our AIs and let them come up with solutions. See, I'm optimistic. I think AI, sure, it can come up with disinformation, misinformation, if that's what you want to call it. I disagree. It should be just information. AI can do all sorts of things. AI can tear down the human race or AI can uplift the human race. It's our question. We have to decide what we're going to use AI for. Are we going to use AI to come up with solutions to uplift us all? Or are we going to use AI to come up with campaign ads to slam our opponent? Are we going to use AI to create disinformation and, and make thing and throw more lies out there? Or are we going to use AI to improve the lot of the human race? It's our decision. We're the ones who have to decide what to do. Are we going to pollute the word world with more junk? Or are we going to allow AI to help us do better and be better, more evolved humans? Which, one we, which way are we going to go? What are we going to do? It's our decision. It's our decision. That's it for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.